Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to share with you one of the wonders of the age. In fact, one of the wonders of any age. Aerial navigation, or as we call it, man flight. Soaring through the heavens in flying machines, so that even gravity itself can be mastered. An amazing and bewildering spectacle. But I assure you, everything I am about to share with you is true. Now, we are all familiar with the potential cruelties and injustices of travel by horse, wagon, or locomotive. You are like to be beset upon by the infinite savagery of wicked men or bloodthirsty beasts that lurk in the bogs and plains of these tormented lands. But what if I told you for a certainty that man will soon be traveling across the heavens with wings like a bird? I am sure you think I am full of untruth, but I have not drank a pint of liquor in over a year, and I will do my utmost to demonstrate the veracity of my claims. For a hundred years, steamboats have engaged in passage along our great rivers. But a man by the name of Cecil H. Peck is in the process of inventing a steamboat for the sky. The only limitation on its speed at which the porter can shovel on more coal. But parts of the country where coal is scarce, oars can be used in the skies to hasten your voyage and keep the passengers active while they travel. Near Pittsburgh, there lives a telegraph man named Aldous Kinnear, who each evening after supper retires to his barn and dons the wings of a giant creature and takes to the heavens. You will be delighted to know he has traveled considerable distances, as many as 45 miraculous feet. Unfortunately, on his record-breaking flight, he knocked over a lamp and was consumed by flames. His two boys, Percival and Charles, have promised to continue their dear pa's legacy of sky flight. A whole heap of men are fashioning contraptions to take us to the heavens. A flying machine powered by a trusty donkey. Once you arrive at your destination, you can mount the saddle and ride away. With this incredible contraption, one can enjoy some popcorn and have the best view in the house at the next flogging or lynching. Stagecoach Robert will soon be a relic of the past when we enlist our animal friends as couriers well out of range of man's shooting irons. But the most remarkable thing I have to reveal to you comes from a northern man called Moss John Nichols. Imagine travel without ever getting into a saddle. No doubt you have heard accounts or seen in person the majesty of flight achieved by performers in the circus. Mr. Nichols has perfected the Sky Cannon. Passengers simply walk up the steps, relax into the barrel, and are transported with great flourish to the destination of their choice. The lame and infirmed who have been ravaged by scarlet fever or polio can once again call upon their loved ones. These newlyweds are all grown up, turned 17, said their wedding vows, and are off to visit New York City. And some very forward thinkers have told me that within 10 years, dear audience, any of us can take a holiday trip to the moon. I must disclose I'm quite partial to this mode of transport. Ships and horses are like to sour my stomach. The future is in the skies, my friends. Look to the heavens. We are going to join him up there by air.